Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Come back now to the uh, museum of the uh, former governor's house for the uh, Trang area. Uh, I can't pronounce the name but I will leave a caption at the bottom. Uh, it's supposed to be a very uh, interesting museum so while I'm in the area I thought I'd take the opportunity to come and have a look. Uh, this morning uh, when I first arrived to try to get in there was about uh, 250 school children so uh, We've had to wait a little bit, so now we'll get in and uh, take the opportunity to have a look around. So this is the short gateway and you can see the house in front. Quite a, a large plot of land and uh, right next door to a, a little school. Seems to be a very, very old house, which uh, one would expect, and uh, mainly uh, built of wood, I presume. I don't see a lot of concrete on there. After first uh, trying to get in this morning, it was exceptionally busy, so. Uh, there's no point in hanging around for an hour or two. And here we have the uh, entrance. Free admission uh, to the house, but uh, unfortunately most of the signage is in Thai, so uh, it's going to be impossible for me to uh, explain everything I'm seeing. But uh, here in the entrance, uh, the first thing you see is a, a wax uh, figure of the uh, old governor who used to live in this house and uh, a spacious, uh, spacious uh, entrance area. There are quite a few visitors here today so I'm going to have to uh, take my time to uh, show you the individual rooms but uh, I hope you'll bear with me and uh, find it interesting. The house is uh, visited by many, many tourists uh, every day. It is uh, quite a, an historical house uh, here in uh, Trang. And uh, a lot of uh, school visits and uh, children uh, come to uh, have a look uh, of uh, the house and what living conditions were in the day. And while we're waiting we'll have a quick look at the uh, kitchen area here, uh, still quite a large area and uh, most of the things that you would normally find uh, from old houses are uh, dotted around the place. Here at uh, the rear of the house it looks like uh, they're in the uh, process of re re renovating this room and uh, I would rather suspect that they're going to uh, make this as another exhibition area. Clearly you can see it's been uh, renovated at this time. A little bit disappointed to see uh, some of the uh, doors uh, falling into uh, repair.
if you're Thai and you come here uh, you can always find uh, uh, a Thai tourist guide who will explain uh, everything uh, to be seen in the house This uh, particular area here is uh, dotted with uh, old family photographs of the people that used to live here. And uh, quite interesting to note that the uh, wooden walls are topped by uh, this cross lattice uh, woodwork, uh, which is uh, quite unique. So we'll head up through these uh, saloon doors and uh, make our way upstairs and uh, see what we can uh, find up there. I have been to uh, quite a number of uh, old uh, museum houses uh, here in Thailand and uh, sadly uh, the floors in this area are not really well maintained at all. The problem with old properties like this is um, unless you maintain them they fall into a bad state of repair and it's uh, virtually impossible to recover. And if you look as we walk around you'll see the floors being patched up with uh, odd pieces of wood which for me I find disappointing. Uh, I agree that uh, you don't want to make it pristine and uh, like a showpiece but uh, nevertheless you have to keep it in some kind of uh, museum order. Obviously this is one of the bedroom areas, uh, not exceptionally large. And here we have one of the uh, old safes uh, situated in this room. Uh, not very robust, I don't think it would stand up to uh, any of the uh, mechanised tools that we have today. But uh, in its time it was uh, supposedly quite effective. Give a strong point to put your money in. Simple bed there with uh, mosquito uh, covers. Obviously no air conditioning uh, in its day. I'd imagine apart from uh, household staff the uh, security here would be minimal. But at the end of the day this house depicts what it's supposed to be. It's uh, to give you an insight of uh, living uh, conditions for the more wealthy ties in the day. So uh, all in all well worth a visit. And you can clearly see the, the floor has been patched up in uh, so many places that uh, it doesn't really look good to be honest. This house now is uh, managed by the uh, now Renong family and I believe some of their family members are currently uh, still working for the government uh, in Bangkok. From what I'm led to believe originally the uh, families that lived here were of uh, Thai and uh, Chinese heritage. Clearly you can see the, some of the damage here on some of the woodwork, the uh, insects have got to uh, eat in away the door post. And I say, unless you keep on top of these things, uh, the next thing is the door falls down and uh, the decay spreads more and more throughout the house. And when that happens, it's virtually impossible to get it back. 
And if it is, it's going to cost you a vast amount of money. Nice balcony areas and uh, surrounded by uh, really nice gardens. I would imagine it was a beautiful place to live here in its day. This is just a very uh, short walk around. There is not an awful lot to show you, but uh, it depicts, uh, you know, to its intent and purposes of giving you an insight of uh, what it was like living in the houses in the day. So we'll uh, head off for a quick walk across the lawn here before we uh, start heading back into Trang. I've enjoyed the visit. I found it interesting. There were quite a few interesting artifacts to cast my eyes over. So uh, it is what it is. So my friend, uh, that concludes uh, this visit to the old uh, governor's house here in uh, Kantang and uh, just behind me some uh, equipment uh, for pressing the old sugar cane so now we're going to head off back into Trang and uh, we'll see what time we arrive there and uh, hopefully uh, we'll go and find something else to video while we're down here don't forget to like, uh, leave comments and subscribe your support is always appreciated and I'll catch you on the next one take care of yourselves, bye bye